today as an heir of a more than 3,000 year old pottery art, I produce vessels just like my forefathers. I collect special earthstone from the mountains, which I dry and crush, and then soften in water. I proceed to mix this with volcanic sand using traditionally my feet as the mixing method. I then knead for some time until this mixture becomes a pliable paste. I knead and roll constantly. By kneading and rolling this condenses the mixture and emits air bubbles to produce a consistent texture. When the mixture is prepared, I knead one final time before the shaping of the vessel begins. This process is called sobar. I spread sand on the kneading table to prevent the mixture from sticking. The base is then prepared, which is a plate with a small Q-shaped edge. Onto this, the first churro, or piece, is placed. This process involves old technology by using the right hand to manipulate the mixture against the left hand as the table turns the workpiece. I continue this process until I have reached the desired height. Pieces are connected by hand and smoothed. The vessel is extended from the inside with a stone in the desired form and smoothed. Afterwards, the upper edge of the vessel is worked with a felt cloth until ready. This is necessary as the upper edge dries hard first.
The next day, the vessel is trimmed and cleaned. using a porous stone and water. Using another type stone, the vessel is smoothed. When this process is completed, we then commence decoration using either incisions and or colours. These colours reflect the earth of Lanzarote. The vessel is painted white and then the decoration applied with a red colour. When dry, it is polished with another stone. The pieces are stored and dried in the shade. When ready, they are placed in the stove, where they are slowly heated up. Towards the end of the firing, the pieces are very hot and they harden by fusion of the particles at approximately 800 to 900 degrees Celsius. At this stage, the stove door is closed. The next day, as the temperature slow reduces, the stove door is opened and the piece is taken out. They are placed into water to complete the process and also to wash them. This last process is a type of quality control test and pieces which do not survive this test are discarded and not used.